Javen and Rebecca Connolly are sitting by the bedside of their sick son, Ethan. I said, is he going to lose his legs? The exact words that the doctor gave me was, you don't want to know. At the pediatric intensive care unit, Dr. Vipul Patel notices something peculiar about the boy's blood work. He was in a dire emergency situation. We found very unusual uh, levels of CPK. Creatine phosphokinase, or CPK, is an enzyme that gets released into the bloodstream when muscle tissue is damaged. Ethan's CPK level is almost 100,000 times higher than what is considered normal. High CPK levels often mean that the body's muscle tissue is breaking down rapidly. When doctors see elevated levels of CPK in conjunction with extreme muscle pain, it usually leads to one specific diagnosis. We exactly knew what he had. Viral myositis with rhabdomyolysis. Inside Ethan's body, the virus is attacking his healthy muscle cells. The virus then hijacks the cell's genetic machinery to make copies of itself. In response, Ethan's immune system attacks the infected muscle cells. The resulting inflammation causes his muscles to swell and break down. I was very concerned with the swelling of Ethan's leg. If the swelling continues to rise, the leg would be amputated. But amputation isn't all the eight-year-old may face. As the muscle tissue is broken down, proteins are released into the bloodstream that are toxic to the kidneys. In large quantities, those proteins can clog the filtering tubes of the kidneys and shut them down. In some cases, that causes death. 